Hey there, YouTubers. All right, unboxing video time. So this is the uh, Intel 10th Gen i3 10100, and uh, we're going to get this box open and get out of here and check it out. All right, so uh, this just launched uh, quarter two, 2020, and uh, this is uh, right now the, the king of the i3s, I guess you could say, until the... Uh, i3 10 300 and the 320 come out put that aside so uh let's check out the box and so far i have uh huh so i see what people are complaining about with these seals that almost you know if you look at it it looks like uh it's been tampered with to be honest with you um but i would think it probably hasn't uh, so this is, uh, base speed 3.8 gigahertz. The turbo is up to 4.3. Of course, that is, uh, probably on the, the first two cores and the other two cores are probably something less. And this is a, uh, four core, eight thread, uh, CPU. And what I would, uh, say is it's probably very comparative to the um, i5-9400 in a lot of aspects. So um, single core scores are higher, but yet, uh, where's my knife? Um, the multi-core score is slightly less. So this thing, you know, should crank. Now I've had nothing but good luck with the uh, the new 10th gen so far. Uh, they are impressive. The i7-10700 performs like an i9-9900. Uh, the i5-10400 I got is uh, very similar to the i7-9700. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that, that they have uh, you know, really improved their game instead of uh, small baby steps. All right, so we'll look at the CPU in a moment. Got to drag this out a little bit, right? Now, uh, TDP is supposed to be 65 watts. Of course, if you turn off the uh, uh, turbo boost, it will probably be closer to uh, $20, 20 watts. So, a lot of times I get asked, does it have thermal paste? Boom, there it is on the very bottom. Uh, you don't want to touch that. Uh, it's only good for basically one installation, right? So if you decide to uh, change out CPUs or whatever, um, take the uh, CPU cooler off, then you will need another one. So kind of interesting. This is uh, the same model as the 9th gens and probably the 8th gens. Now, this guy is what you get with the 10th gen i7 10700. Um, same cheap fan, but it just looks cooler. I don't know why they didn't do that for all of them. So, uh, there's the fan. Personally, I recommend uh, replacing it, uh, even with even with this uh, CPU. So, there's a little sticker manual. We won't open that. Let's go ahead and look at our uh, CPU, and I'll take it out of the plastic here in a moment. There she is. So let me get it out of the plastic and then we will um, resume. All right, so um, you know one thing I didn't say in the last two videos, this will support uh, up to 128 gigs. So if you have four DIMM slots, you can uh, basically put 32 gig uh, sticks in there. Um, that's pretty amazing. I'm not really sure if I've ever run anything that is uh, needed that much. And I've done some pretty impressive things in my days. So, um, now the one thing that I did notice, memory types, it, uh, it had just listed DDR for 2666. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, if, if that's true or not. Um, doesn't sound like you can get the best RAM with this CPU. Of course, this does have the uh, the rather unimpressive uh, integrated graphics, Intel UHD Graphics 630. You would have thought they would have at least improve that. 
they did not and uh, max resolution with this so since this does not end in F you don't have to have a graphics card with this and if you're doing a new build highly recommend that uh, you don't put the graphics card in first get your computer boot up to BIOS make sure that works then start you know putting the other stuff together whether it be the graphics card or then your uh, hard drive so but there you go folks that is uh, all we're going to talk about uh, today look for a lot of videos from this um, I'm still uh, really into my i7 10700 and have not made anywhere near the amount of videos I need to but uh, we will have lots of videos on this uh, I will probably honestly pair it with the RTX 2070 Super the 2080 Super and the 64 uh, just to see if it can handle those I'm expecting bottlenecking and then we'll pair it with the uh, graphics cards that can probably handle a lot better between the RX 550, the 560, the 590 and uh, what else the RX 5500 XT so that's going to do it for this video thanks for checking it out please like please subscribe